forgot was in the Congo Saga. I don't, I don't, I don't think that was in there either. Uh, That's definitely not a Congo Saga prop. Oh, it's deep in the warehouse. That's a sure. sick hat, though. I love it. It's a little nightcap. It's a good hat. <laughs> Just giving everyone the fist bump. <laughs> yeah, awkward. He's a menace, I swear. <laughs> Keep us here for now, I guess. Camera's not on us. Oh my goodness. I'm getting that DK tie. I played DK at the end of this game. I, I earned this. You know I dropped him. <laughs> if only they could see that. Yeah, they can. But it's all good, though. What we can see in this next match coming right now between Locust and Shuton. Good transition, I guess. This will be an interesting Decent. one. This is a rematch of what occurred in winter semis. Ooh, that Route 209, though. Yes. Yes, please. Gen 4, Gen 4 Pokemon, Gen 5 Pokemon, top tier. I don't care what it says. Locust was able to emerge victorious the first time. Can Shuton rewrite history? Oh, getting right through all those Pokemon with, the, with that Pyro Dunk. Still in the air a bit as well, too, because it had Purple Latch on them. Or the, the, the blue, I mean. Yeah, part of the reason Power Dunk is so good is because it has so much priority. Stuff in that jump there. Looks like that's fine way back, but he cannot. Shuton was right there, stuff him out. So that forward air. Jab, jab, power dunk though, once again. Crosses up with Nair. One more down to or jab, jab will definitely take Shuton's stock right now. Oh, it just goes for the raw rising tackle there. That was super nice. I was gonna say, if he, if he gets it one down throw, he can do down throw, rise, and tackle, but he just went for it. Yeah, it's a lot better at hitting grounded opponents than I think the animation might hint at. It just straight sucks he would, it's crazy. And back there in the purple pick, and he's just throwing the kitchen sink at him. Continuing this juggle. Locust can't find a way to land. That crack you off there. Oh! Come with the very tip of that power geyser. That was super good. Super, super nice awareness there from Locus. I didn't think that would even hit. Sending the astronaut back to space. Nice. <laughs> Pasta! Whoa! Someone asked for that. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I heard that. <laughs> Shoot on though. Answers back before things get too out of hand. 59% down. and high with the up air. Shoot on sitting at 111. Oh, looks in a bad position here though. He needs to land, which he's able to there. So we got purple as well too, which is going to be really useful for him. But also that dash attack, very useful for taking that game from yeah, Shuton. That's going to crack the helmet. That's going to leave some damage. That's so brutal every time. The zoom just cracks Almar's helmet. That's so brutal. I, the, the eyes just look like... You know, they just pop out of his head as well. It's so gruesome. Exactly. Poor Billy. Jeez. I wish that Olimar looks like Billy from Billy and Manic because of the nose. The Olimar wasn't the answer. Is it going to be the Shulk? Oh, the Shulk? I haven't seen this Shulk since Snatch 4. I remember, I think it was that Naira Saga. He pulled out this Shulk and just won the set straight up. Like, he used it at an Umaburo once, I believe, to win a set against one of the ZSSs. I think either Shoko or Kuro or someone. But we haven't seen it thus far. I feel like it's definitely a good choice, though. Because, like, Richter, he tried Richter in, in, in winners, and Logan tried to figure out that matchup. He tried his Almar and, like, end workouts. So now, and now he's trying, like, his, I guess his last character, or this one of his last characters, is his Shulk. Yep. I love that as well. He's able to drop shield and get shield art going before the jab jab power dunk can complete itself. We'll see if the Shulk is the answer at least. I feel like Shulk is pretty well in this matchup as a whole. But that guy, you're off your air face is one of the best carries in the world right now. So we'll see if this will work. Oh, he's getting right out of that jab to power dunk. Going around and that time it's gonna poke. Drop shield at the wrong time there. Not on the platform and one oh, up here. I, I thought it was good. 
unnecessary spot dodge. dodge. <laughs> or necessary air dodge, rather. I think if he didn't get that air dodge going inside, he probably would have been dead at 70. Such is life when you're facing Shoal. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I feel, I feel like... Oh. Oh. I guess it was okay in this case. Oh, that'll do it. I will do it. Get him right before it ended up there. Interesting. The air slash had a shield, not quite enough. I feel like in this case, Shulk's probably one of the, one of the characters that can definitely stuff Shulk's uh, recovery options really well. Perhaps. Like that, for instance. Well, versus the air slash, though, Shuton finally on the board. Shulk gets a lot of range and can definitely, like, and a lot of mobility as well if he has jumper speed on. So you can definitely, like, catch a lot of his, like, his recovery mixes off stage just because of his amount of range, honestly. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you can guess the order that perhaps Burning Knuckle and Power Dunk are coming out, you can certainly just pester him to no end. Oh, just not the board out there. I might have actually killed him. But you should not literally punish for that. Look, he's getting that, getting that stock off. Right back into the game. He doesn't really want to up tilt the up air, but that's a bad draw combo. It's not a thing this game. Retreating fair, smash art. Locust just gonna take his time off stage and wait for that smash art to get caught out. Oh, perfectly timed power look there. If he didn't get that off, that was it. It was over. Oh! It's just that spot dodge, are you kidding me? That was, that was, that was nice. Nasty stuff from Big Shuton. Big brain play from Shuton. <laughs> Guy used the, the buzzword. But here we see Buster Art coming out now. It is the longest lasting and has the shortest cooldown of all of Shulk's arts. Shoot on playing his, sec his uh, secondary here, just like, just like how well he played his main. He's just he's really good at this game. It's all gonna say at this point. Oh my goodness, did he tech that? No, no, it was a weak hit uh, down there. That'd be cool though. They're able to get Shield Art going once again before Jab Jab Power Dunk can finish. And fair tipping below the ledge. Oh, Wow. That's actually really hard connecting this game. A super nice thing to buy out the ledge there. Icing up air from the ground level as well. That's powerful. <laughs> I imagine that just barely worked there. That was sick. Smash art is a hell of a drug. Yeah. You can't get too high on that drug, though, because if you do, you can just get to kill at 60 yourself. It's like killing another person at 60. That's for sure. The shoot on bring that Shulk out though, taking that game too. Looking very strong too with the two stock. And now Locus actually taking his time. Perhaps we'll be seeing a counter pick from him. Has the Ridley, has the Palu, has the Ken. I don't think he's playing Ken anymore. Terry, I think Terry's new love. He also has Dr. Mario though. Oh, I'm wrong. Excuse me. I apologize. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'll concede on this one. Locus going back to the pre-DLC. Oh Personal opinion though, I do feel like Ken probably is a better character than Terry is, but they're both very good and have their own quirks for them to make them different and just worth playing on their own. Ken definitely has a much easier time killing those thing. Yeah, Ken is certainly a character that likes to play a lot more grounded, so interesting to see how oh. Shuton utilizes jump art in this matchup. Almost right there. The other thing to look at to be careful of is that his recovery is now more linear. Oh, he should have gone for the, 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 the strong jab there to get that short again, but oh well. But yeah, you gotta be careful off stage because like, his recovery is definitely not as. Uh, as tricky as Terry's was. I'm just spamming Shoryu at this point. Locus showing that he's willing to go for the Shoryu reads. Uh, 
Shifts his momentum with a focus. Ah, uh, dude. Even without, even without any arts on, that back air is still very, very good. Oh, I just spam again. Getting a little desperate with the tilt confirms right here. So this is the point that it actually confirms. Down, but... Again, this Buster Art coming out with all this rage. Look at how much damage these aerials are doing. Even like, Down Tilt did like 16. Yeah. That up tilt is 14 right there. Nutty. It looks significantly very desperate for this. You gotta calm down just a little bit so you can get this. I'll get the straight right now. That might just be it. Up throw? Yeah, there yeah. we go. Never see a throw ever. That's oh, a collector's item for sure. Oh, definitely. Take that to the bank, everybody. <laughs> Just screenshots after that one. But, Shutan's getting that kill right there. Reverse that was a horrible transition. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about, though. Shulk is just very good at edgeguarding characters, especially if that falls range. Down throw into F tilt and taking advantage of the reduced knockback that he deals with that art to get that combo going. Nearly broke the shield. Not there though. F smash smash art way too good. That thing is not back. Way past the stage. At least a few stages. Yeah, Locust nearly broke his shield, but then Shuton just broke Locust. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Oh man. We're sticking with the Ken though. I don't think the Ken was the answer in this case. So for this Shulk, Terry wasn't the answer. Ken wasn't the answer. I don't think Riddle is the answer either, honestly. I feel like Riddle might be pretty bad in this matchup. So then again, he probably might just pick him. Maybe Palu? Palu would think we better, yeah. Oh, going to Doc. Okay. I do know he has Doc at least. So I don't feel this matchup's any better. I think this might be a desperation pick. Then again, he doesn't two or he does two games to work with at least. Wait, no, 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 Get, get four in this case. Shoot on up 2 1. This is definitely a desperation pick. We'll see, one, if, we'll see if it uh, pays off for him, though, at least. Yeah, one thing to note in this matchup is that each hitbox, each time Shulk does get hit, it does reduce the time that an art is active, and pills are an exceptional way of doing that, just getting a lot of different projectiles going at far range. Three hits to like 50 there. If you want to elapse a smash art timer, for instance, you can do so a bit more easily. The bulk is facing another direction there. It's been down throw. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down throw Cyclone. Dr. Mario Psych. Dr. Mario has a lot of stuff that's worse than regular Mario in this game. But what Doc does, what Doc has over Mario is a raw power. And especially in that Cyclone. That Cyclone got better between games. That thing will just still stocks easily. If you, if you allow it to. Continuing this fair chain. Yeah, it's kind of a figure what happened. Yeah, oh my goodness, Locust getting a one-way ticket on American Fairlines. American Fairlines. That's good, that's good. <laughs> oh. I thought that was it. I thought it was done. But Locust getting that defibrillator, that F-Snatch. Trying to take it a stock, but it might be a little too late in this case. Good on parry skill. on the Buster Art up there. He's on skill and ham with his choke right now. Again, it's, it feels like he mains this character of how well he's playing him. It's kind of nutty. And also very scary at the same time. I mean, this is a character that requires a tremendous amount of development personally. You cannot just pick him up and succeed, but that... That bear will pick up Locust and will succeed in taking that set. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs>